Hello everyone, my name is Michael at michaelstutorials.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a non-authoritative server with the UMMO, a Unity networking asset. Um, this is my favorite networking asset as you may know from previous videos. Um, and I'm just going to be using some of the stuff that I made in the last video that I made on this. So if you give me a moment to load up the scene that I made. Um, if we build and run, this is a authoritative server setup. I'll just show you this really quickly. Okay, so as you can see, we can move around our player and all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, it is a server, so I could have um, opened another client and had more than one in there, but I didn't want to do that for now. Um, but let's go ahead and go to the UMO asset that we instantiated in the last video, which is the authoritative server setup. And go ahead and uncheck authoritative player setup. And then we want to go to prefabs, drag in our prefab for the player. And I have never actually created a non-authoritative setup, so this will be even extra, an extra boost of how easy this is to actually create if I can create it without ever even doing it. Um, now I'm pretty sure, if I'm correct, um, we won't need to do ummo.netobject.me this dot get access so you can just use input but I'm not sure so I'm gonna go ahead and give this just a quick test run and if it works then you know you're good to go already and there you go it works and you are supposed to do the umo net object dot me this dot get access or whatever um, for input um, so everything is essentially the same, except most of the stuff is run on client here. Um, and this is actually, I mean, this isn't what I would recommend. I would do a server-hosted authoritative setup, just, just because you can really prevent cheating that way. And everything, it may not be as smooth, but cheating goes away, essentially. Um, and really, that's the most important part of it but if it's um if it's run on the server you're not going to have mistakes between players like this player's over here but he's really over here in his client you know it's going to be more efficient than non-authoritative so I, I highly recommend you stay with authoritative and uh that's really pretty much it for this video so if you want to do this you're probably going to have to watch the authoritative video setup um, and I'll have a link for that in the description, and yeah, thanks for watching.